Honorable Court, back in session, you may be seated. Now we're back on the record at Column 1st Hernandez, Act Number 14-104-17, and Act Number 15-103-84, continuing the motion hearing. All right, Council, uh, as I understand it, there's an agreement that uh, the securest employee at Suffolk County is not the best person to, to come in. Well, they ordered him not to come in, Judge. Oh, they did? Yes. They ordering him, they being who secure, secure us. All right. That you want to be convenient. heard in that regard? Yes. Uh, Your Honor, uh, we need, as we discussed, to get to the bottom of this information. I, I again would request that an uh, order be issued to secure us. Uh, to provide an individual who has the technical knowledge and ability to answer questions with respect to the securest system and to produce, just because I think it will save time, uh, any and all recorded, recorded com uh, phone conversations of Mr. Hernandez. The alternative, Judge, is, uh, and I know you're hesitant to do that, but is rather than require that we, they produce a witness here, that we be allowed to meet with them and to examine the security system. Uh, and let me ask. I think I know the answer, but I want to know your position. Uh, 
is there a scenario under which Secures, as the vendor, would have recorded? other than through either the Bristol County Sheriff's Department or the Suffolk County Sheriff's Department? No, Your Honor, but the frame of the question is through, and the reality is it's not really through. It's too directly too secure that the Sheriff's Office has access of. So it's not as though the data first resides in the sheriff's office and then is imported into Secures. The data all goes to Secures and is then exported when requested to the sheriff's office. So I guess the long and short of my, my answer is yeah. we believe they have data, possibly have data that the sheriff's don't have access to. All right. The request to order Secures to produce a most informed witness regarding its systems and produce all records of Hernandez calls will be denied. Uh, I'm satisfied that what has been produced here uh, as it relates to the official records of the Bristol County Sheriff's Department and the Suffolk County Sheriff's Department uh, relating to jail recordings uh, is adequate to present purposes, uh, and there's no reason to believe that there would be any further communications or recordings of calls by Mr. Hernandez that are not reflected in the records you have today received. Uh, all right, let's get back to the identification issue and description testimony. Uh, the Commonwealth has made available Mr. Frere and Mr. Sanchez. Let me just clarify one thing on the record. I just want to make sure I didn't uh, misspeak. In the prior conversation with the court, it is a commonwealth's position that we are conceding the motion to suppress, but I want to be clear that we're not conceding the arguments that are contained within the motion to suppress. Instead, we're acknowledging that we will not seek to introduce that evidence. Again, I want to be clear that we're not um, conceding that there was um, an unfair uh, process that was employed either by the police or by the witnesses. Well, when I that say happened. that you're assenting to the motion, I suppose it's more properly your position is uh, suppressing any in-court or out-of-court identification request is moot because you do not intend to offer it. Exactly. Much better stated. Than but you do intend to elicit descriptive information Agreed. Uh, that was given to the police over time. Yes. Okay. So with that understood, uh, it seems to me we're, we're more properly focused on a motion in limiting regarding uh, any evidence relating to descriptions by either Mr. Freer or Mr. Sanchez. Uh, who's calling a witness? Mr. Sullivan or Mr. Baez? Yes, it's one. With respect to the court's last statement, uh, we certainly uh, are not... Uh, we, we certainly uh, consider this uh, part of this argument a constitutional uh, motion uh, and an evidentiary motion. So uh, we are not withdrawing the motion to suppress on constitutional grounds. And just to be clear, our position is that after the very initial statements by these two witnesses, uh, any other descriptions were tainted uh, and were impermissibly tainted such that they sound in a constitutional violation. Well, that's what you intend to show through the next 15 minutes of direct examination uh, on each, each witness. Each combined with yeah. the, 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 the papers. We okay. don't want to be duplicative of what's in the papers. Very good. Who's calling a witness? I will, Your Honor. Mr. Baez. Yes, I believe by stipulation we would call Mr. Sanchez. All right. Now, we do have a very Creole interpreter present as well. They do speak English, but they're much more fluent in paper and grill.
Blackie Medina, M E D I N A. Mr. Byers. Yeah, my name is Rashid Gomez Sanchez. Yeah. And what is your profession, sir? Uh, sanitation. If you would keep your voice up a little bit louder, Mr. Sanchez. Uh, it's important that everyone able to hear you. Yeah, I work in sanitation. Can't hear you, sir. If you could sit forward and speak up. I work in sanitation. And. Have you ever been arrested before, either in Massachusetts or elsewhere? Sustained. Uh, now, sir, uh, on July 16th of 2012, uh, were you riding in a vehicle that encountered gunfire? Yeah, I was there. And, um, where exactly were you seated? I sit in the uh, back seat and the passenger side on the right, right side. And who was sitting next to you? Uh, Aquilino. And Jerson. I'm sorry, can you say his full name? Aquilino and Jerson. And who was in the middle? Uh, Aquilino. And then who was directly behind the driver? Jackson. Okay. Now, when exactly did you enter the car? After the club, we went to the parking lot of the building. My friends went upstairs to get a car. Safiru, uh, Danny, and Delmar, a cleaner. Delmar was called uh, his name, a cleaner. So, me and Jackson was outside waiting for, for them. They came. After that, we get in the car. And then we left. Now, when you were seated in the car, did you have your cell phone with you? Yeah, no, I don't remember. Uh, overall, the answer is you don't recall? I don't remember if I had a okay. cell phone that night. Guys. Did you have one at all that evening? Where? A cell phone. A cell phone. I don't even remember that. Why you guys ask me for cell phone? Okay. The way this works, sir, is I ask you the questions and you give the answers. Do you understand? All right. Do you understand, sir? Yeah. Okay. And if there's a question I ask you, sir, that you don't understand, we have the assistance of the interpreter here. All right. Okay. Now, Mr. Sanchez, once you got in the vehicle, what's the first thing you did? Yeah, we started talking, man. We started talking, we listened to the music, had a conversation, and we... Let me stop you there. All right. Uh, what were you discussing? Because they could not start with this cookie. Nothing. They carry relevance to this particular motion. Council, how is it relevant? We're discussing that evening. We're discussing any possible distractions, anything that may have been directed to this witness's attention. So therefore, I think it's quite relevant. Good. Mm -hmm. Well, we're So you're saying you're you're in, involved in a discussion, correct? You're having a conversation. Yeah. Normal. Who were you speaking to? Everybody was talking to her. So my question is, who are you speaking to? I don't remember. And that's okay if you don't remember. I'd like for you to answer specifically that rather than make something up. Is that understood? Right. Okay. Now, uh, 
in addition to that, if I ask you a question that you don't understand, I'd like for you to utilize the okay. assistance of the interpreter. Okay? The, the object here is not to trick you into saying something you don't want to say. Do I understand? Do you understand, sir? Yeah. Okay. Now, you get in the car and you're engaged in discussion. And you mentioned the music was also playing. Vou falar que nós entra na casa, nós estamos de papel e também música se está de tocar. Now, how loud, loud was the music? <laughs> I don't remember. Uh, do you recall at that point turning on Tremont Street? No. Yeah. Okay. And did you come to an immediate stoplight, or was there one subsequent to that? It was it was one car in front of us. Yeah, and then we didn't move until the lights uh, was green, you know. And did you then go to another stoplight? No. Do you recall if you lowered your window down? No. Okay. So the window was up? It was up, but not all up. And what about the, for the uh, passenger side, was that window up as well? Or is it just one window? Well, it's a few windows. Correct. The front? Yes, sir. I don't remember that. Okay. The so only thing I remember, that part, and when, when, when he started shooting, the windows blow up. Okay. So as far as you know, your window was mostly up, and you can't recall whether the front window of the passenger was up or not. Is that correct? Can you, can you repeat again? As far as you know, your window was partially up, uh -huh. and the, the uh, passenger's window, you don't know. I don't remember. I don't remember. Okay. And what were you doing once the car came to a stop just before the shooting? What I'm doing that time? Yes. It was normal. Were you Talk, still? listen to the music, and waiting for, for light. So as you're listening to the music, do you hear anything before shots being are fired? Nope. Okay. What exactly do you hear? You stop. It was everything was quicker. You stop and say something like what's up, Negro? You start to shoot. It's an automatic gun. You know, you start to shoot crazy. That's all. Did you see remember. the car before you heard someone speak? No. Like I told you, everything was quick. Car came behind us, stopped, it started. Like I told you, it, it, it pulled up, it said, what's up, nigga? He pulled up the gun and started shooting. Okay, so I'm clear on your testimony, sir, and I want to make sure you understand me. Mm -hmm. Did you hear a voice say, what's up, Negro, yep. before you saw the car? Yep. No, before I saw the car. Right. Of course, it, it is the time the car, the, the same time car pull up, like I told you, it was quicker. Car stop, he said, what's up, nigga, he started shooting. And you just uh, described or actually made a motion with your left hand shooting. Is that correct? What you say? You just made a motion with your left hand shooting, as you would testify just a moment. I saw that. Okay. Now... What kind of car did you see? SUV. Okay, what color? Uh, that time, I could it was white, but when I saw in the news, it made it, it, it refreshed my, my mind because it was night time, it was dark, and the bridge. I remember the light; it was in front of, of us. You know, I'm not talking. I'm, I'm not talking. I'm not saying the. the Stop sign, this stop light. You see the light close to the buildings, you know? It was, and the, in the bridge it was dark. So when you were at the bridge it was dark, is what you're saying. And there's not very good lighting, is that correct? Yeah. Okay. So the first time you spoke with law enforcement, do you believe you told them it was white? 
The car? Yes, the car. Yeah. Okay. And then you saw something on the news. Is that correct? Yeah, when they find the car. Okay. And that was Another approximately car. a year later? You make, <coughs> you make me you remind me. Okay. Yeah, it was the same car. My question to you is, was that a year later? <coughs> the time they find the car. I, I don't remember if it's one, one year later or not. I don't remember that. And when you saw on the news that they had found the car, did you know that that was the car in no. question? Yep. Okay. And were you told that on the news? What? Were you told that on the news that that was the car used in the shooting? I said, yeah, it's the same kind of car. So my question to you, sir, is in the news, when you saw the car, the news said that that was the car in the, yeah. in the shooting? Yeah, they said that. Okay. And that influenced you to change your memory from it being white to silk? Objection. No, over. Is that correct, sir? Did you say it? Say it again? And when you heard them say that was the car used in the shooting, mm -hmm. after that, you changed your mind. It's not about changing my mind. It's about refresh my mind, remember. Because okay. I passed the situation. So once you saw that in the news, that that was the car used in the shooting that you were involved in, your memory changed. It's not about change. It made me remind me of the issue. I'm pretty sure it was that car. My question to you, sir, is you then made the statement <coughs> that it was a silver car after seeing it on the news. Yeah. And now... I want to get back to your testimony today. Can you focus on me, sir? Okay. All right. Now, I want to get back to your your testimony that evening, or, or what you recall from that evening. After someone said specifically, what's up, Negroes, and they began shooting, what did you do specifically? You said after that? Yes. I got out of the car. I'm trying, I'm while, they, while the shooting was going on? You said after? No. Once... The car pulled up and yep. said, what's up, Negroes, and began shooting. What did you do? Like I told you, after shooting, he was screaming the car. After shooting. While the shooting is going on, what are you doing? We was in panic. Screaming, crying, crazy. That's all. Did you duck? Did you get out and walk towards the car that was shooting I get at you? Out. I get out and try to check my friends if he was okay. I saw my friends die quickly, right away. I need you to answer my question specifically. Sir. All right. Okay. My question to you is, while, guns, while the shots are being fired, what are you doing? I was in panic. I'm in my not asking seat. you state of mind. I'm asking you what you're physically doing at that point. That, that moment in time. Are you asking where he was facing, what he was seeing? What he was doing while the shots are being fired. Do you understand that question, sir? What I was doing, I was in sand, uh, inside the car getting it. Okay. And did you duck? No. Did you look towards the, the vehicle? Look at who's shooting. Okay. Who was shooting. And the entire time, you didn't move at all? No. Nope. Okay. So as shots are being fired in your direction, you turn and look directly at the shooter and stay looking at them. Yeah, because my windows was like this. I saw the shooter. It was all black. Uh, yeah, I'm answering your question. And what did you, what did the shooter look like? Look like him. Okay. When you say him, who are you referring to? Hernandez. I'm sorry? Hernandez. Okay. And describe physically what he looked like <clears throat> to you. That time he was, he had a red arm, black shirt, he was all black. The only thing I remember. He was wearing a black shirt? 
Yep. And what did, was he wearing anything else? Yeah, a rat on. I'm sorry? You say he had a rat on? A hat on? Yeah. Okay, and what color was the hat? I don't remember that. Okay. You don't recall what color the hat was? Oh, because it was dark. Okay. And, and it was in the car. And was he wearing anything else that you could identify? Yeah, so the tattoo, too. Okay. So the shirt that he was wearing was black. Was it short sleeve, long sleeve, or a cutoff? Like a, like a short. Okay, short sleeve. T-shirt or a polo shirt? It looked like a T-shirt. Okay. Did it have anything, any insignia or any writing on it? I didn't pay attention on that. Okay. Could you see any insignia or writing on it? No. It, it was some... Something on the rag, some I don't I don't remember the, the I it. a logo? Some, yeah, I didn't see that. So it was a black hat with a logo on it. Yeah. It looked like all black. Now sir, at this time, while this is going on, you mentioned that you saw tattoos. Did you see any other jewelry or anything else that can help you? Was the shooter white? Yup. I'm sorry? Yup. Yeah. Was he... Let me lay out the question a little more. Did he appear to be white, Hispanic, or African American? Look like... He looked like him. Okay. I don't know what kind of people is that, you know? Let's say what I said. So. Now, subsequent to that occurring, did you see anything descriptive? Was he shooting with his right hand or his left hand? Left. Okay, his left hand. Now, after that occurring, what did you do? After the, the shooting? Yes. I got out of the car. Okay. In which direction? Right direction. The right direction. So the door that you were seated close to? Yeah. Okay. And what did you do next? I got out of the car. I tried to check on my friends. I, I came in, came in out like we we came in out all at the same time, like three, three of us. Like we came came in out at the same time, and we started to check on on, on Dan and Safiri. But Safiri, he was already there. And then I go to the windows. Then the driver, uh, passenger. I went to the windows. Try to hold Danny Hong and talk to him because he was he was alive. He was died like slow. You feel me? And I said, Dan, talk to me. You hear me? Are you okay? I, I saw him and then he died on my what head. What did you do after that? After that, I stayed there. Okay. Walk and, around. And did the police eventually arrive? Huh? Did the police come after that? It came like a couple minutes late. Okay. Ambulance came first. Okay, so when the ambulance arrived, was there anyone other than the two front path, the passenger and the driver, that were being tended to? When the ambulance came, além de que que as duas pessoas de frente que estava a dar atendência e estava a dar ajuda mais alguém. They didn't give attendance to the people in front because they already did. Okay. And was uh, Mr. Freer given medical attention? No, he was in the back. I came in. You talked about him? Yes. No. Okay. And did he <coughs> ask you to go with him to the hospital? No. Okay. And did you go? No. Okay. I was in Ben. No. You mentioned the, that you saw the shooter shoot with his left hand. Was his arm out of the out of the car, or his whole body? How much of him was outside of the car? Was arm. Just his arm. Is that a yes, sir? Yeah, he was left. Arm. You have to understand. You have to answer out loud. You can't nod your head. That's I say I'm yeah. I say I say the arm. I get to. Now, uh, once you see his arm out. That was the only thing that you saw outside of the car. Is that correct? Yeah. Okay. Now, no, I saw, I saw, I saw. 
like this, he turned around like this, he, he pushed his arm, I saw his face on the, on the bottom, not scared, he, he got him. I saw his the face on the left side of the car. Yeah. Are you saying that you saw his, the profile of his face? Yeah. Okay. Because I can't, I can't see, he doesn't have no beard or nothing, you know? So no, yeah. As it relates to his face, all you saw was his, the left profile of his face? It was quick. It, it was so quickly, but I saw. I saw it's like it, it was white, you know. It was. It had a black shirt on and red, you know, and then tattoo because he pushed on outside. You know, that's all I see. Now you just that's said that. he had a red hat. Is that correct? Huh? Did I understand you that you just said he had a red hat on? No, I didn't say that. Okay. So what color was the hat again? You can look. It look like black. Okay. Now, Don't take me a picture, please. Okay. Now, um, once... Once this is after the shooting and your friend asks you to go with him to the hospital, Mr. Uh, Ferrier. Mr. Lino? Yes, you did not go with him. No, I was in panic. I'm, I'm trying to check. Uh, I'm trying to check uh, Danny Safino first, and then Zasso. He walk away. He say he called me a couple times. He said no, I can't go and leave my friends there. So he was in panic too. He was kind of scared. And I stayed there like for for a couple minutes. And now I came in to laugh because it was an emergency. I came to laugh. And they came cops, they started, you know? And you saw this, the, the police cordon off the area? And, and yeah, the but they, they didn't get, came to me, they didn't know if I was in the car or not. I was, you know, like this, you know? I don't know where to go. Did you have blood on you? I had a lot of blood. On my blood? shirt, on my pants, yeah. Okay. And did Mr. Lopez leave first? Jackson, right? Yes. Yeah. Okay. And subsequent to that, you just stayed there the entire time and watched the police process the scene? Yeah, they came, and then after that, like I told you, they didn't know if I was in the car, because I'm the first one to get out of the car. And then I stayed like for a little bit, I was kind of, like I told you, I was in the pan, it kind of scared too, I started walk away, like what, I'm, what I can do. Was there anyone else standing around with blood all over them? I still around like for, I can tell, like, not even 10 minutes, man. My question to you, sir, is was there anyone else standing there with blood all over them? No, no, no. Okay, so you were the only one? Yeah. And did you have any weapons on you that evening? Could you have any weapons on you that evening? No. The objection is sustained. I don't care. I, I, I don't care. I don't care. And then you, you left? Yeah. You did not go with Mr. Lopez, or did you guys leave together? No. I didn't see him. We walk away. I didn't see him. And then I started walking away by myself. And then you, uh, did you take a, how did you get home? I walk away in the downtown, tried to uh, catch the uh, taxi. And then when, when the first driver stopped, he didn't, he didn't, he didn't uh, take me because I was, he saw blood on me. He didn't take me. And then I, don't, uh, I didn't have money that time because I wanted to have a credit card. I went to the ATM to have to get money to pay uh, the cap. And then one guy close to the ATM, I don't remember, he don't sound where, you know? Uh, I get money from from the bank, and then after that, I catch the cab. One guy, he's like, he was black, but I take I take my shirt. I, I had white beaver, you no. Know? Inside, I take it out, and then he, he take me. I said, I want to go to the Chaston. Try to go to the Akinimo's house, where where Chaston Park, where this truck. That time. Now. Um when did you finally call police? 
What'd you say? When did you finally call the police? Finally who? When did you call the police? When I called it, the next day. Okay. At what time? It was in the morning. Did you speak to Mr. I Gold? mean, I didn't call the cops. I came to the, I came to the Boston uh, cops. I didn't call no cops. Did you call Mr. Lopez? Yeah, I called him. I talked to him, yo, we need to go there. How long have you known Mr. Lopez? Way back from, from Cape Verde. Okay, so you know him from Cape Verde? Yeah. What about Aquilino Correct. Way back from Cape Verde, too. Okay. What about Sapiro Patel? Sapiro, I know him like, I don't know, I don't really, his fan because he's more, he's more close to, to the Jarrison in the mine. I'm not really close to Sapiro, but I, I, I remember him in Cape Verde, too. And what about Danny Bray? The same thing. You know him well? Okay. Yeah, I know him way back from Cape Verde, too, but we're not really close at that time. Now, so, the first person, did you speak with Aquilino Ferreira that evening? That yeah, evening? because he was at the end that day. Aquilino is my friend, you know. Way back did, from did you call him while he was at the hospital to see if he was okay? I tried to call him, but his phone doesn't, doesn't work that day. Did you speak to him before going to see the police? I went to his house. After we went to the, uh, after we, we went to the cops. Okay. So you called Mr. Lopez, and the two of you spoke? Yeah, we spoke. We met each other in Brockton. Okay, let me stop you there. Before going to the police department, you both went together, right? Yeah, we went together. Did you discuss what happened that evening? Yes, Okay. And did you talk about what you saw? Everything. Everything? Yeah. Did you tell him what you saw? Yeah. And did he tell you what he saw? Yeah, so I can, I, I'm on, can't speak for myself. Did he tell you what he saw? Yeah, he said a lot of things. What did he tell you he saw? I can tell him. You don't remember what he told you? I can tell him. Because it's not, it's not me. My I, don't remember, I, don't, I don't remember what he, what he saw. I can tell. Okay. So I understand your answer correctly. Mm -hmm. Are you saying that he told you what he saw, but you just can't remember? Yeah. Okay. Now, when you get to the police department, do you speak to the police then? Yeah. Okay. And did they record your statement? Yeah. When you spoke to him, was Gerson there? Mm -hmm. What'd you is, say? That a, is that a yes? What'd you say? When you spoke to the police, was <clears throat> Gerson Lopez with you? No. We, we both go to different rooms. This is after you two had already spoken about no. what you saw, right? That day we went to the cops. Is that a yes? I said that day we went to the cops. Okay. I, I, would, I need you to answer my question. This is after the two of you had already spoken about what you saw. Yeah. Okay. Now, uh, when you spoke to the police, do you know if it was recorded? I don't know. Did they have a tape recorder and put it in front of you? Yeah, that, 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 that day, I remember that. Okay. And they asked you if you understood that you were being recorded? Yeah, they told me that. Okay. Now, um, after that, when's the next time that you spoke to somebody about this case? What did you say? After the day you went to the police station, when did you speak to someone next about this case? After the, the day when I went to the cops? Correct. I don't remember that. I don't remember. Yeah, my girl that time. Okay, so you talked to your girlfriend? Yeah. Did you talk to uh, Mr. Freire after that? Yeah. After he got out of the he, hospital? He's the only one we, we talked most about the, what happened. Okay. How often have you spoken to him? How many times after that day have you spoken to him about this? So many times. Okay. And what about Mr. Lopez? How many times have you spoken to him after this? I don't, I don't even see Sharson. That time we didn't get a good time. I didn't I have his number, we, you know? When's the next time you spoke to the police or someone from the prosecution's office? I came a lot here, I don't remember. I'm sorry? I said I came Boston a lot, I talked to them, I don't remember. When you say a lot, how many times would you say? Is it more than five? I don't remember, man. Is it more than five or less than five? 
couple times. When you say a couple times, more than two times? Three or four, I don't, I don't know. So the three or four times, who did you speak with, police or the prosecutors? Prosecutors. Okay. And when you spoke with the prosecutors, did they ever record your conversations? Mm -hmm. I'm sorry? Can you say it again? When you spoke with the prosecutors, did they ever record your conversation? This relates to the No, overheard. Uh, I remember they recorded me one time. So if they recorded me, I didn't know them. They didn't tell me that. I remember they recorded me one time. Okay. Is there anyone in this courtroom that you saw, that you met with? Yeah. All three of them. Okay, all three of these individuals. Yeah. Okay. And for the record, we um, got more. In the back too. And that would be the detective. He was present too. He was there. Yes, I, rem I remember him, but I don't know if he you talked about the same day. You know, because it's kind of be different because I've been like a couple of times like. It. Do you recall at any time going before the grand jury and testifying? Not one time. I'm sorry? What did you say? Do you recall ever going to testify in this case? Most of them break you will write down to sue me in a scouts once. Oh, yeah. I remember that. And you were present and uh, Mr. Hagen was present? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. And in there, when you testified, you testified to something a little different than what you testified to here today, right? No. Okay. Was it the same exact statements? Okay. And this was shortly after the shooting, right? No. Okay. And subsequent to that, were you ever called back to testify again? What you say? After that first time that you testified with this prosecutor, were you ever asked to come back and testify again? Depois daquele primeiro vez que eu chamava o papel de testemunha, eu vou voltar para dar outro testemunho. Não. Just came the room in the room. There was a lot of detectives around the table. That's all. Just one time. This is the second time I came to the to the room in front of the church. This is the second time I think. Okay. I mean, the first time it was it was a place like this. It was a lot of people with boats and I don't I don't know. All right. Uh, that first time would that be the grand jury? I think so. There are about twenty or twenty four people sta sitting yeah. around. Yeah. And was Mr. Hagen there? Yeah, he was there. All right. Uh, and is today the second time that you've testified, that is, come into yeah, yeah. one of these rooms. Okay, Mr. Pius. One second, please. When you testified, oh, yes, okay. all right, when you testified in the room, <clears throat> All the people. Was that after you saw some things on the news? You said that day? Yes. Yeah, because I saw the, you know, it was new over there. I saw the, the, the day after. You know. And after. before you went into that room, did you meet with the detective? Which one? The gentleman sitting in the back of the court, Detective Sullivan. I don't remember. It was, it was a couple of detectives over there. Okay. So, but before that room, before you went in that room, did you ever talk to them first? Yeah. Okay. You went to the private room first. Okay. And, and was this before or after you saw some things on the news? On the news. Did you see some things in the news before you talked to the detectives again? That day? Yes. No, I didn't see news that day. After. Yeah. Okay. After? I saw my, yeah, I saw my, 
I saw my face in, in the TV. I saw it. I remember. When you saw the car on the news, was yeah. that before you went into the room with all the people? I don't remember, but I don't, don't remember if it's after me. I can't, you know, it, it was it's a lot of things, man. Now, you've mentioned that you've met, that you've met with the prosecutors and detectives three or four times. Yeah. Was there ever a time where you saw the news, then went in to go speak to them? I don't remember if at that time we talked, if they find a car or not. I don't remember. But did the, did the police when I saw when I saw the car in the news, I remember talk to them. I told them, yeah. And then they showed me they showed me the, the, the news too. Okay. So who, who showed you the news? In the, in the, in the, was it the detective sitting in the back room that showed no, you? No, I can tell her. I can tell if he's in or not. I don't remember. You know it was no, I saw the news at home. I saw the news at home. And then I remember a couple of days ago, two days ago, they showed me again if I recognize, if I remember all the stories. I said, yeah. I, I want to make sure we're understanding each other. Mm -hmm. okay. So what you said and you just testified to is that you saw something on the news about the car, correct? Yeah. And Mr. Hernandez, mm -hmm. is that a yes? Yeah. Okay. And that Mr. Hernandez was the shooter that shot into your car, correct? Yeah. Okay. Now, after that, you went to the police station and spoke with the detectives. I'm not asking. I'm trying to make me confused with your question. All right. It, I don't think he's trying to confuse you. I think it's important to understand the order in which this all happened. Mr. So, Mr. Baez, put the question again, if you would. After you saw on the news mm -hmm. the car and that Mr. Hernandez was the shooter who shot into the car you were driving. Or Are you asking him if that's what was on the news or if that's what he... <clears throat> I believe that's what he's testified to, because I, I asked him previously if that's what was what he saw in the news, and he said yes. Put it again. Sure. Okay. From the very beginning, Judge? Let's start. You're at home watching the news. Yeah. You see the car on the news. Yeah. And was it after that that you then talked to the police and told them? When, when they, they called me, I have an appointment with them. Yeah, I spoke to him. I let him know. Yeah, I saw the news. They find a car. All that. I, I told yeah. And that was after you saw the news? Yeah, after. Okay. Yeah. Mr. Bias, please. Did the detectives ever show you the news? Show me like, uh, show me two days ago. He was there. He was in the room. They, they trying to, you know. They show me. They show me the uh, the picture and, and the news again. And was that to help you refresh your memory? No, it's not. It's not. It doesn't make it two days ago. It, it didn't refresh me. Yeah, yeah, memory. Was so that I, I refresh. I mean, I refresh my mind that that time when the news came out. Was there ever a time prior to two days ago that the police also showed you the news? Se algum dia, além daqueles dois dias atrás, em algum momento que a polícia mostrava o que eu estava na notícia? Não, mas fala comigo. Não, mas they spoke with me. Okay. How many times did they have, did they show you the news? Just one time. I remember. I remember it's just one time. And once you saw the news. Did you immediately call them, or they called you? Talk about the, the when they find the car? Yes. No, say, can you say again the, the last one? When you saw the news, did you call them, or they called you? No. They didn't call me, I didn't call them. They called me to come, because I had it, you know? And then I spoke to them, I let them know. They talked, they told me they find the car, I said, all right, I saw it in the, in the news. Was that the same day you went into the room to talk to all the people? This is the point. I don't, I, I don't remember. 
if it was at the same day or not. Okay. Sir, if you don't remember, it's okay to say you don't remember. Yeah. Okay. I don't want you to think that I'm trying to confuse you. Yeah. Okay. I want to be clear. All right. All right. So. Are you aware that when you first spoke to the police two days after, you never mentioned anything about the tattoo? What did you say? Are you aware in your first statement to the police that you never mentioned anything about tattoos? Yeah, because this is after when I saw the picture TMZ put it out. I was in the bathroom, called the gun in front of the, the mirror, mirror, and then I remember. Make me rem remember. Okay, so after you saw a picture on TMZ with Mr. Hernandez holding a gun in the mirror, that made you remember. Yeah. Okay. Now, in that picture, is he holding the gun with his right or his left hand? Left hand. Okay. And at that time, is he taking a photo with his right hand? What did you say? He's holding the gun with his left. Mm -hmm. And he's taking a photo with the right? Left. In the mirror. Is that a yes? Yeah. Okay. And that is when you also remembered that the shooter who shot into your car that night shot with his left hand. Is that a yes? Yes. And that is when you also made the connection that that person was the person who shot at you. Okay. And it was after it wasn't before seeing it on TMZ, it was after. It was before I saw the picture. On Facebook. On Facebook? Yeah. Okay. What picture did you see on Facebook? That one in, in the bathroom and called the gun. Did you do your own research on this case? No, my friend sent it to me. He saw, he saw the, the picture on the Facebook, he sent it to me. Which friend was that? Marcus. Who? Marcus. Marcos, can you please give his full name? I don't know his full name. Marcos who? Marcos. Okay. And where do you know him from? Huh? Where do you know it's him my from? friend way back from here. Okay. Do you have his phone number? Not yet. We're not, we're not, we're not, we're not cool anymore. Okay. You're, not, you're not cool anymore? Yeah. Uh, do you have a way of communicating with Marcos? No, I can't. I'm sorry? I said I can't. You can't? Yeah, I got, we got, we got, we got friends in the room. Can you give his information to Mr. Hagen so that we can speak to him later? So right now? Later. All right, yeah. Okay. Now, did anyone else send you any photographs? No. Did you discuss that photograph with Mr. Lopez? Person Lopez. What? The photograph on TMZ. Can you say it again? Did you discuss that photograph with Mr. Lopez, the one you saw on TMZ? Vou conversar com o senhor Lopes sobre aquela foto que vou na TMZ. What about? Mr. Baez, hold on one second. I just want to be clear on this. The photograph is a picture of Mr. Hernandez holding a gun in a mirror. Is that right? looking in a mirror. Yeah. And is that the picture that your friend Marco sent you? And did he send it to you on Facebook or from Facebook? On set. I'm sorry? On set. On what? No, TMZ, uh, Facebook. Uh, TMZ. TMZ? Yeah, TMZ is a, is a, a paparazzi a paparazzi site, you know? Okay. Is that uh, on the internet or is that on television? On the internet. On the internet. Okay. I'm going to show you a photograph. Uh, may I approach the witness? Your you may. Mr. Mr. Sanchez, is that the photograph you're referring to? Yeah, the same. Okay. Do I need a part? 
I guess I'd like to have it marked for identification. All right, let's receive that exhibit one for this year. Receive it as an exhibit, Your Honor, for identification. Uh, as an exhibit for this year. Exhibit one. Did you save this photograph at any time? If I save? On your phone. If I save? Yes. That time, yeah. Okay. I don't and have it anymore. And you carried it along with you? No. You just said you I don't, saved I don't it. Even, I don't even spoke to, to the people about what happened. Because it made me hurt. My question to you is, did you save that photograph on your phone? That time? Yes. I don't remember. I think it's... No. Nah. I think it stayed on the, on the chat. You think it's it? I'll leave it on, the, on the Facebook. So you never downloaded the photo? No. And... I think it might, it might be seen on my, my computer. Prior to going in and speaking with the detectives when you saw the car on the news, that must, must have piqued your curiosity to look for more, is that correct? What you say? We can have the... Uh, Hans Lubon, avocat pour détective, de poste pour mon Jack and Font, on a la télévision. Tu espères avoir curiosité de vous voir faire des investigations? Non, pour moi, il est trop plus de moi de police. Because I left everything in the hands of the police. So after seeing the car, it may have been the car that shot at you. You decided you were not going to look into it any further. Uh, sustained as to the form of that question. After seeing what you believe was the car that shot at you, did you look at all for any more information on the internet? Yeah. What did you do? No, that, that time they, they find a car? Yes. Yeah, it was really the news, you know. You know? For me, it was the same car. And it was very important for you to do this to do this research, right? Yeah. You've never been shot at before. No. Okay. So this is a very traumatic event in your life. Yeah. And and that event sparked and seeing the car made you uh, want to look for more news. Is that correct? Yeah. Overruled. And how much more news did you look at? Everything. When he came out with his name, I was on, you know. And how many hours would you say you spent looking at everything? Man. <laughs> I've been wild, man. Stay there like in front of the computer, cry, you know, nervous. You know, that's all. How long would you say that is? Did you stay for hours? For days? No, for hours. Okay. Uh, after looking at the computer for hours, did you go back after more news became available? No, it was like, like I told you. My friends and my girl, everything. My, my girl used to call me from, from work and say, all right, babe. You got news, and now the news on the TV, you make sure you, you, know, you turn around the TV and start following, you know, and start shoot. So every you time know. something came out on the news, your friends and family would contact you to see it, correct? Yeah. Okay. And then this, and, and you just testified that every everything that came out of you, of course, because you're interested, mm -hmm. you were reading it and looking at it on the news. Is that a yes? Yeah. And all of this was before you went into that room with all of the people, right? The same question. I don't know. Okay. You don't remember whether that yeah, I don't was remember before or after that? Uh, Mr. Baez, how much more of the 15 minutes will you need? <laughs> We're at the lunch recess now. I will be wrapping that up, wrapping it up shortly if I can inquire with the council. Yeah. Yeah.
Sanchez, I just have one uh, follow-up question, if I may. Well, actually, a couple more, I'm sorry. Um, did you give any other recorded statements to the police where they told you they were recording in the three or four times that you met Just for one time. And did you see Mr. Hernandez in the nightclub that evening? That night? I don't even know him. I don't even remember his face there. Okay. Have you ever seen Mr. Hernandez play football? I never followed the game in American football. Mr. Hagan, do you have an examination? If so, how long? I do, Your Honor. I really don't. That's been about 15, 20 minutes. All right. Why don't we take it up at 2 p.m. then? All right. We'll be in recess till 2 o'clock.